Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel and to another video. I feel like this one today is jam packed full of so many things that we've been trying to get done around the house. We made a DIY art trolley this week with the boys, so I filmed that and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, we're actually going away tomorrow, so I seriously need to pack, so I'm going to show you kind of my packing process in this video as well. We are going to New York and I haven't mentioned it on this channel because we literally booked it last week. It was such a last minute trip. We had no plans for the Easter holidays. And then I started looking at staycations and then I started looking at things abroad. Like I was looking at Lanzarote and Tenerife and it was just hugely expensive for our family. And then I randomly looked at New York and it was so much cheaper than those holidays that I kind of justified it in my head that I've actually saved all this money. But we've actually always wanted to go to New York. I've been before when I was younger, but when Matt turned 30, he really wanted to go to New York, but we gave birth to Fraser just two weeks before he turned 30. So we had a newborn baby, then we got a house, then we had another baby, then we had another baby. Like, it just hasn't happened. And we have talked about one day going just as a couple, but you guys know I always struggle to leave the kids. So in the end, we're gonna go with all the kids and I'm super excited that they're all a bit older. Jackson's really good at walking now. I think he'll be able to handle the sightseeing. So it's a very last minute trip, but we are super excited. We leave tomorrow, we're gonna be there for six days. So I'm going to pack in this video and obviously, because we're going away, Matt thought it would be a really good idea to do loads of stuff in the garden, <laughs> like repaint the fences, jet wash everything, clean the windows. We also recently got some new football storage for the boys, because there's just so many footballs. We wanted a place to put them. We've also finally finished refreshing Fraser's bedroom. It's been recarpeted. We kind of redid it, so I kind of wanted to show you the end result of that. And we had some new storage built upstairs for our towels. So I will show you all of that. I feel like there's loads in this video. But first up, I am going to pack, and it's actually quite a nice one. Like sometimes if we go on a hot holiday, I tend to bring something to wear in the daytime and then something to wear at night because we tend to get dressed up, go for dinner. But because we're going to New York, it's very much just like a sightseeing holiday. I just need one outfit per day. So I just need six outfits for myself and then all like for the boys as well. But yeah, I hope you really enjoy this video. If you do, give it a big like and subscribe if you're new. I would absolutely love to have you. And I must apologize. I feel like I've been so busy with other things that my YouTube channel has suffered a little bit. I've been putting out one video a week which if you've been here for a long time, you know I used to do three videos, two videos, and I really hope to get back up to two or three videos. Secretly, YouTube is my favorite platform out of all the platforms. Don't tell Instagram and TikTok. <laughs> but the only thing is YouTube can be very time consuming. A video like this can take hours and hours, not only to film, but then so long to edit, voiceover, upload, and all of that, whereas like a reel or a TikTok is like very, quick and because there's so much video content I've been finding it difficult and I was so busy with my book which is now out so I feel like that is kind of like you know it's out there anyone can buy it now I can like chill out on all the promo for it I actually didn't realize how much uh, time you have to dedicate like it really was a time sucker but I'm so glad I did it of course I'm really really pleased that you know I've got this like tangible book so many people were asking for it for years so like it's done it's out there but i'm actually quite pleased that i can come back to like what i know now i just love making content and i'm excited to make more videos for you guys so let me know in the comments below what are your favorite videos to see i've been trying to do youtube shorts as well a bit more there's just so much you can do and i do struggle i actually had a few people say to me at the book signing like oh, you messaged me back, but I didn't know if it was really you or if it was someone else. And I was like, I probably should get someone else to help me with messages, but it is just all me. And same with these videos. It's just all me editing, filming. Like I know I'm probably at the point where I could get help, but I just, I just don't think I would want it. I think I want to like keep it to myself, but then that can be quite limiting because um, there's only so much time in the day. And obviously, 
my number one priority is my boys. So they are always going to come first, but I'm hoping to up uh, my content again. So yeah, anyway, let me know what you would like to see. But first up, we are going to start packing for New York. And of course, I'm going to vlog when we're there. Actually, when you're watching this video, we are there right now. So if you want to see more of what we're doing, you can follow me over on Instagram. I put loads up in stories. And then the next video will probably be about our trip. So if you're interested, that will probably be next week. Let's work out what I'm going to pack. So when I'm packing, I literally try everything on just to make sure I'm happy with the outfits. So this is going to be the outfit that I wear to travel in on the airplane. We're flying tomorrow at 5 p.m. So it's quite a nice time to fly, but I just want to be super comfortable and I'm most comfortable in leggings. Um, so it actually looks like I'm sponsored by Adenola. This is an Adenola jumper that I recently got. These are Adenola leggings, which I really love. And there's a secret pocket at the back that you can like put your phone into. So I've got Adenola socks, and then I've got my New Balance trainers. I actually just washed them because I wanted them to be nice and clean for the trip. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm wearing. Oh, and I also got one more thing. I also got a New York Yankees cap on ASOS, which I thought would would make a lot of sense and then I can wear it there as well but that is my traveling outfit sorry Kiki she's gonna get upset if she sees the suitcase um, but yeah I really like the navy blue and it's just super comfortable if you're wondering where the boys are wow I'm doing all of this up here I thought I would show you it's such a beautiful day it's like spring here boys are down there on the trampoline they've been playing loads of football and stuff as well the dogs here with me on the balcony. Oh, laying in the sun. We've been looking at the weather in New York and it's not as nice as this. It actually looks quite cold on the first few days. So I'm obviously packing based on the weather. I don't know if you can see that, but we will get there on Wednesday, which is 90% likely to rain. Then the next day is also a bit rainy, but then it's kind of dry and like getting a bit sunnier as well. So I'm packing a few warmer outfits and then a few more spring ones. So this is what I think I'm gonna wear on the first day. As I said, it's 90% likely to rain, so I thought it would be good to layer up. I am bringing an umbrella and a little raincoat as well. Um, but for this outfit, I'm wearing leggings. Again, these are the Adenola ones. I just really like them. And these ones have a pocket, which I thought would be good because quite a few people said, oh, in Times Square, you know, be careful of your phone and stuff like that. So I thought I could kind of put it there and it's hidden. Then I've got the same trainers on. I've got very similar socks on but these ones are different then I've got an Adenola hoodie I <laughs> know I'm wearing a lot of their stuff um, and then there's a t-shirt under this so I thought oh if I get hot or whatever I could take off a layer and then this blazer is from Zara it's just like an oversized blazer which I thought would be nice and then I also thought again I could wear this um, cap with it potentially wear my hair up and wear this um, so that is day one. And for day two in New York, it's similar weather. So I'm actually wearing the same bottoms. I'm hoping to be able to wear these black leggings again, same shoes, like different socks obviously, but similar again. But then I'm wearing a different Zara blazer. I just got this one and I really, really like it. The gray hoodie detail on it is actually attached inside. So it's just that bit is sewn in. So it looks like you're wearing a hoodie, but then it's actually not as bulky as wearing an actual hoodie and the weather I think it looks like slightly warmer that day um, so then I thought I'd wear a t-shirt or I've also got a super thin um, turtleneck that I could wear so if it is really cold and I want to have like something here we're going to be outside a lot so I've got those two options um, but yeah I'm really loving this blazer from Zara so I'm excited to wear that and then I also have another hat and for this outfit I have another New York Yankees hat this is just a black one that I could wear with this outfit or the boys could possibly wear as well so I'm going to bring that as an option um, but yeah that's the next one on day three, I'm gonna wear the same blazer that I wear on day one. This is the Zara one, but I'm gonna wear it with jeans. I've got myself some baggy jeans. I feel like 
everyone's wearing them they're really in i struggle i just miss my skinny jeans so much but i'm gonna give it a try they're really high-waisted they're from a brand called only i think they were like 25 pounds on next uh, but i'm gonna give them a try and then i'm wearing my adidas samba trainers with this outfit so i'm just bringing two pairs of trainers and then i'm gonna wear a stripy t-shirt underneath which is quite cute so if it's warm i can obviously take this off have this underneath and I'm bringing my sunglasses um, in case it's sunny enough to wear them. For day four, I'm wearing this outfit. I think this might actually be my favorite outfit so far. It's really comfy, but I feel like it's quite a cool one that I could potentially wear in the evening because we don't know if we're gonna book to go and see a show or anything. Where we booked it so last minute, we actually haven't booked that much. So we will just see when we get there. But if we go somewhere nice for dinner or something, I could wear this. I've got these knee-high Zara boots, which are really stretchy and so comfortable because obviously in New York you're gonna be doing like 20,000 steps a day I've got black tights on and then I've got these pleather shorts which are from ASOS they are Stradivarius I think they were 25 pounds and I really love them and then I've got this stripy jumper which was from Topshop but I thought I could actually wear these shorts like this combo with some of the other tops I've already showed you like the stripy top stuff like that um so yeah I thought this would be nice and then if it is cold I could wear the black blazer which would look like this or I could actually wear the gray blazer as well I think either would go really well with these boots and then I also thought I could wear these boots with a little dress I'm bringing one very thin dress just in case we go anywhere nice for dinner or do something different I just want to have it in my bag just in case we do this is the thin dress that I was talking about it is from River Island it's just a wrap dress but I was thinking I could just bring it and I could always wear it with those boots if I wanted to if we were doing anything fancy I have no idea but I'm gonna chuck it in my case <laughs> then on the fifth day it is supposed to be 15 and sunny so I was just gonna bring this pink linen shirt this is from Zara it's quite long so I was thinking I could like tie it up and just wear it with the jeans that I already showed you and the sambas that I showed you as well obviously I could wear a blazer on top if it is a little bit cold um, or I could even wear this shirt with the shorts outfit I don't know I think if it's nice and sunny I'll just want to wear like a bright color and some sunglasses I'm so tempted to put in another spring dress but I should probably just avoid it um, and obviously like a few things can like mismatch and then that's our last full day and then on the way home I'm just gonna pack one more pair of leggings and hope that either of the hoodies will be clean enough to wear on the way back as well. And that is everything I'm packing in terms of clothes. I also wanted to show you this packing hack. So if you take photos of each outfit, then you can hold your finger down on the photo and copy just the image of yourself. You can put it into notes and this is a large view, but you can choose to have a small view and then you can add all of your other outfits and then you've literally got everything that you're planning to wear. If you forget, you can click on it, it will get bigger and you can see what you're gonna wear. In terms of bags, I'm bringing my Louis Vuitton Neverfull as my carry-on because it carries so much stuff and it is indestructible. I've had it for years. And then when we're out there, I am bringing this crossbody bag from Hush and Matt is going to wear a backpack. So he's gonna have a lot of the stuff on him, um, but I'm gonna bring that. And then this is everything laid out that I'm gonna pack. I've got day one, day two, day three, day four, and then a few things that I can mix up for day five, possible evening outfit three different pairs of shoes and we're taking three cases so everyone pretty much gets half a case each so I'm hoping to get everything into this half and then we're hoping to use the other half for coats so that the kids don't have to wear or carry their coats on the plane so hopefully that will work out we just need half a case each <laughs> I bought this little travel jewelry case on Amazon and it's so handy. You can hang all of your statement earrings here and there's loads more space down here for bracelets more earrings, rings, things like that. And then here you can hang your necklaces. I think I'm just gonna bring like two or three, but I'll just like hang them here and they're all safe. 
Big moves. My rules. Y'all heavy on the tweeting. And this is my little travel medical case, which is tiny, it's the size of my hand, but it's a pill case that I bought on Amazon and you can actually hold so much in here. So I actually cut out the medication boxes like logo and put it in each one so we know exactly what everything is. So we've got travel sickness tablets, allergy tablets, tummy tablets, paracetamol, like if you've got a headache, and then we've got Calpol for the kids. I feel like it's always when you're traveling that someone feels a bit unwell. So I'm gonna take this. I'm actually just gonna top it up a little bit because we're a bit um, running low, but I have it in my handbag at all times and it is so handy. There were whole season like, woo. Who said they looking for me? I'ma make you wait for it. Spend a few racks on a shopping spree. Yeah, I'ma make you pay for it. Tell them give it to me when I want it, please. Wait till I not look for it. Count down for me. 12, 11. For makeup, I am going to take one of these cases that opens up and actually hangs on the door because I always find there's not much counter space, but there's always somewhere to hang it. So I'm just going to put everything into here. Wait for it. On my time. For my toiletries, I wanted to show you these. These are like little travel containers, but they're magnetic. They're called Cadence, um, and you can basically buy all of like the little bits and fill it up with whatever you need. So I just put shampoo and conditioner into this one. And it's also quite cool that like, the tiles on the top, they actually come off and they're magnetic. So you can like change whatever you use inside them or um like you can swap the titles of them i just got that one as a heart because i was like i don't know what i want to put in it but i've got night cream i've got deodorant so i'm actually using cream deodorant at the moment i've got cleanser i've got night cleanser i've got body wash i've got day cream serum and night cleanser yep and then i've got these little ones for a little scrub and they magnet straight on top and i've got a lip balm and then I've also got a little tiny eye cream, but they come in all different sizes. So if you wanted to get like double the size for shampoo, obviously I actually just wash my hair once a week and we're going for six days. So I think, I mean, that's loads. Um, but yeah, it is quite cool. The only thing I would say, which I was quite disappointed about when they came, they're actually a little bit heavy. And obviously when you're traveling, like they actually feel quite solid. So when you're traveling and you're worried about weight limit, it's not ideal, <laughs> but you could have it in your carry-on because they are so small. Um, but I'm gonna put these into here and then that is like all my toiletries and I have loads there. I also wanted to show you Matt's rug cleaning hack. As I said, we're sort of doing up Fraser's room and the rug that was half under his bed was really quite dirty. So Matt decided to clean it with the jet wash. This sounds crazy, but it works so well. Look at this on the stain there. It literally just comes off. I would say though, if you're gonna try jet washing a rug, we're doing this one because it won't fit in our washing machine. It's a really big one. Just make sure you do it when it is nice and sunny out because it did take ages to dry. And yesterday, the boys and I started making a DIY art supply trolley. The boys have so many arts and craft supplies. These two are super creative. They love coloring. And for every birthday or Christmas, they always ask for pens, coloring books, notebooks, paper, etc. So I got everything out of the cupboards, put it on top of the pool table, and I got the boys to help me with organizing this. And they actually loved it. It was such a good activity for them. They color coordinated the pens. They looked through the coloring books, decided which ones were full and we could get rid of, which ones they wanted to keep. And we just went through everything. There was honestly so much in terms of crafting, etc. And we did have a big cull of things that we no longer needed. Um, and then we actually tested out every single pen this took about an hour with us all doing it but we did end up getting rid of so many that weren't even working anymore and we just watched a film while we did this and then I decided to wipe this trolley um, I filmed this as a reel for Instagram hence why it's this way but I wiped it all down and I'll show you the end result 
And let me give you a tour of the finished art trolley. It's looking amazing and I'm so pleased we managed to get all of those supplies out of the playroom and like in some kind of organization. So we've had this Ikea trolley forever. It was 30 pounds. It was in our bathroom and it's just really handy to have. You probably will notice these in like every beauty shop. They're just brilliant for businesses as well. I bought these attachments on Amazon. They did a pack of four. I'll link them down below if you wanna check them out. So I got two packs and I put them on either side. They fit perfectly and we have color coordinated all of the pens. You might have seen the boys doing that. So we've got pink, purple, green, blue. And then over here, we've got all of like the peachy colors. We've got yellow, we've got orange and red. And then on top, I've got this magnetic storage for all of the shades. So we've got black, gray, and brown. And then I got this clear storage on Amazon. Again, I'll link it. It looks like this, and it has space for like four different things. So we've got pens, pencils, scissors, glue, stapler, pencil sharpener, rulers and scissors so when they're doing their homework literally everything you could ever need is on here we've got an electric sharpener as well which is really satisfying some post-it notes as well so that is kind of the top area down here we put all of the paints and the glitters and there is a glue gun and like a few crafty bits as well and then on the bottom it has all of their coloring books plain paper they've got this great book look 50 things to draw for inspiration so all of their books are there i got this clear storage let me show you from amazon which i will link and then there's also a few more sets of pens caleb's posca pens are all here and we've kept them together they're like perfect for doodling We've got a set of pencils for art and then another set of pens. We've got loads of pens, I know, um, but it, now at least it's all in one place. And the best bit is they can just wheel this to the table over here and then put everything back and wheel it back. Whereas before we were doing like multiple trips, putting it back in the cupboards and they do draw a lot. So yeah, we're really pleased with how this turned out. I just thought this would be such an amazing main present for a child that is obsessed with coloring or drawing. My boys would totally love this. You can get all the accessories, put everything on it. I think it's really, really impressive and I love it. I also wanted to give you an update on Fraser's room. He has this signed shirt from Sun from about four years ago. He got it for his birthday, but he has a new signed shirt. He was recently Tottenham mascot. He got to meet the whole team, get his shirt signed. So we really want to display it in his bedroom, but to get it professionally framed, it's like hundreds of pounds. But we found this DIY one online for 55 pounds and it comes and there's instructions inside on how to frame the shirt in here there's like an insert and there's space for photos as well so Matt is doing it he's just put the cardboard in the shirt and then you tape it all around the back and then put it in the frame and it looks really good we've now ordered a couple of photos to go with it and you can even like print the little information so we said like Tottenham mascot it was on his birthday as well so we put like the date and stuff um, but yeah it looks really good and it's the same size as the other frame so then Matt hung this up next to the current one and now we're going to move everything back into his room if you missed the last get it all done Matt repainted in here and we recarpeted this room we never carpeted four years ago um, but we decided it now really needed it so we did that and then we've also got these really handy gadgets if you have rugs under your beds it's so amazing I'll link them we got them on Amazon but this will like bring your whole bed up so you can take rugs out wash them put them back we've got ruggable rugs in our room so we tend to wash them and these things are just so handy so you don't have to try and like wrestle and hold up the bed they just make it really easy so anyway this is all dry now so we're going to put it back under and we just put his bedroom back together and we're so pleased with how it's looking it looks really really good it's a proper like teenage boys room and that's how you sorry that's how you take it down so easy to just slide out and that is his whole room all done finished in the process as well we had a bit of a clear out of anything he doesn't need anymore any clothes that can be passed down 
etc etc but yeah still love this room and it's just perfect for him and yeah here's another look at the frame it's looking really nice so we just need to add the photos now so I'm all packed now and the boys are packed as well. I haven't shown you it, but let me know in the comments if you would like to see it. I think it's not like a beach holiday, like we're not bringing swimwear or anything. It's just one outfit a day. And for the boys, it's so easy. It's like jeans or joggers and then loads of layers, hats, options. We're bringing snuds just in case it's really cold. And then for their carry-ons, we've chosen a few things for them to do, but it's great because I think it's a like a, what's it, long haul flight. There'll definitely be entertainment on there. And then what I always do for the boys is each a Ziploc bag of all of their individual snacks if you have like a big bag of snacks i feel like they just fight over it everyone's in the snack bag all the time whereas when we get on i just hand them like you know that's your ziploc bag for the whole flight eat whenever you want it just really helps with the mom can i have a snack can i have a snack obviously they're getting older and they're so much easier uh, but i find that that really does work and then we also bring like a water bottle for each of them and then they can fill that up and they don't spill it as much as if they just get a drink off of the trolley so that is all done i can't believe we're going tomorrow i'm so excited you guys give me any of your tips because when you see this i'll still be there um but i also wanted to show you this new towel storage i sorry it's such a mess in here with all the bags um but this cupboard here is brand new let me show you it so the hallway is going to be painted and done very soon we've changed the radiator hence why there is the paint color behind it but that is happening when we get back and i'm so excited we're recarpeting in here and we're redoing the stairs um, but in the meantime we had this cupboard built all the way up to the ceiling so this wall here is jackson's wardrobe so it comes out but then there was this random gap at the end and we asked our car Carpenter, if he could build a cupboard here that would kind of just go flush to it. He's done such a great job. It looks like it's always been part of this wall and now we have all of this storage. I know we have a ton of storage here anyway, but we thought it would be great for the towels. And then we've also got our airing cupboard for the sheets got a medical box and stuff like that so I'm gonna fill it up I think we could actually maybe get all of our sheets and towels into here so I'm super excited I bought some new towels here I thought I'll treat ourselves to some new towels got them on Amazon these are all of our old towels that are still pretty good to have um, so yeah I just wanted to show you that I'm so pleased with it it's just beautifully done and while I was packing, I wanted to show you what Matt was getting up to in the garden. This took him hours, but it actually looked so much better in the end. So we decided to have black fences, but the only thing is they scratch and scuff quite a bit. I think he did this two years ago, maybe. So it kind of needed a bit of a freshen up. We probably need to replace the fences at some stage, but for now, we're just going to repaint, touch it up. So first up, Matt is jet washing and just tidying up, jet washing some of the patio as well. And then he let it dry and then he started painting as well. So we're gonna just repaint it with a black paint um, and it actually looked so much better. I didn't even realize it needed it, but it actually really did. But it was so funny, once he'd finished painting it, he was like, oh, I'm so pleased that's all done. And then all these squirrels were running along the top and he was getting really annoyed that they were gonna ruin his paint. <laughs> so yeah, he's gonna paint that and then he's also gonna mow the lawn. He 
he's a keeper he's done a great job and then i also wanted to show you this storage box that we recently bought for all of the footballs i think they've got like 30 or 40 footballs again because when it was christmas birthdays you know we're always like oh footballs would be good because they are always chucking them over to the neighbors but we thought it might be nice to like house them in something because they're just everywhere so matt ordered this box he actually said it wasn't the easiest to put together and he's a bit upset with the quality so i probably wouldn't recommend it i think it's for garden cushions but we thought it would be good for footballs but obviously he built it he said it's just like it doesn't feel like as sturdy as he was hoping but we put all of the footballs away in it and it does actually look a lot better and then the last thing he did was clean the windows we have a really simple window cleaning kit that we ordered on amazon i'll link it down below it's been like the best one that we've used it gets really messy with the dog the kids the birds and now that the sun has started to shine it literally just shines a light on how dirty they are so matt decided to clean them so yeah he's just gonna clean these but i think that is it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it and as i said we're off tomorrow to new york so super excited and yeah thank you so much as always for watching and i will see you in my next one bye guys